and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be going through my holiday gift guide slash what I'm buying my kids for Christmas. I originally was going to do a video of like for him, for her, for kids and I decided to split it up in case you don't have kids or a kid in your life that you're buying for. Let's watch that stuff over here. So today we're going to be talking about what I'm purchasing for the kids for Christmas which disclosure here at the beginning if you're my kids watching this I will find you <laughs> and you will ruin Christmas. You will take out the Santa magic. So please click away and, and, and don't watch any further. I will know. If you are anyone else but my kids, welcome and thank you so much for being here. I'm really excited to share with you some of the ideas that I have. Some of them are not revolutionary. Some of it is just for fun. I feel like it's getting even more difficult every year to purchase something for them because they have so much at this point. And it, it, it drives me insane when I go in their closet and there's something in there that like my family member or myself has purchased them and it's still in the plastic, it's still in the box and it's untouched. Like there's definitely those items that they rip open into day of and they play with and they play it to death, especially slime. I am so over slime. But then there's the other gifts that I know they're gonna enjoy, but they just, it, it's maybe too extensive or it requires my help and I'm off doing something or whatever it may be that they just haven't. What am, is going off my hands today? Now before I get started, I will try my best to leave exact links to the products that I am speaking about in the description box down below. Those will likely be affiliate links, so you will be supporting my channel by making a purchase through the link or after you click it. I really, really appreciate it. Also, it makes it easy for you that when I'm showing an item, you can find it easily and kind of go from there. I'm also searching for the best deal possible and I will share that information with you down there as well. Okay, so let's start off with the kids because I feel like sometimes it's difficult to find things that they can be really interested in and these are the things that my kids are interested in. I have my daughter who's eight years old and my son who is 11. He's getting tough and when we get to that point, I, I don't have too many things for him. So if you have some feedback, please leave that in the comments down below so that others can, and myself can kind of go off a couple of the ideas that we can share back and forth. Isn't that the whole point of having a community like this is so that we can go back and forth and be friends together and give advice? Let's do this. So my kids are very crafty. They like making things, they like putting things together. So I thought it would be really cool to collect a variety of small, inexpensive kits that if they didn't play with it, I wouldn't be heartbroken. And if they did, it wasn't going to be like some big shenamble of three hours of me helping them do some sort of chemistry test. Because like I'm all about being a hands-on mom, but at some point I'm like, you need to go play by yourself, read the instructions, it's going to be fine, don't set the house on fire. So some of the kits that I feel would help accomplish that goal and not be all slime. I'm done with slime. Although this one kit here is sort of like slime but not at the same time. It's a DIY stress ball set where you put these little beads inside what looks like a balloon and then fill it up with the goo and um, they squish it. I thought they would have a ton of fun with that. There's four balloons in here. This is something they're going to do together. So it's not for one of them. It's kind of like a, a here's something for both of you. Go entertain yourself while I go edit a video type of thing. This is something for Anthony because I figured it would be right up his alley. I was able to get it on clearance, but it is still on the website. It is a science kit, but it's like smaller. It's more about things that are timed and it looked pretty easy enough that he could do this and follow the instructions on his own with minimal insertion of myself. Again, I don't mind helping, but I don't want to do the whole thing. All the time. Another kit that I thought would be a great for Sophia and I have a couple others that I'm gonna pull up pictures of because I don't have them just yet but the first one is this geode glowing crystal. I don't know if it's gonna turn out like this but it looks like you create your own little like ceramic mold and then the crystals kind of grow inside of there. I figured she likes sparkly things, she loves geode, she loves rocks and yeah, I was able to get this one clearance, but it is still on the website. Okay, so some of the kits that I haven't purchased yet, but I'm going to, they're in my cart and I'm waiting for like the Black Friday deals to start. One of them is from, I think both of them are on Kohl's and one of them is a soap geode making kit and it looked really cool. And I figured it was totally up Sophia's alley because she's been liking to go to like all these like craft markets with me and checking out all like the goat's milk soaps and stuff like that. So I figured if she could make her own, that'd be kind of cool. Then the other one is the DIY Toy Story creative set. 
she loves Forky. Like, she has tried to make Forky on her own. It's super cute, but I thought it was cool that this had the kit to make one of your own. And then I think some other Toy Story characters, but that's the reason I'm getting it is because of Forky. Okay, so something else I'm gonna pick up for Sophia. I feel like she's so much easier to shop for than for Anthony. Maybe it's a boy girl thing. Maybe it's the age thing, like she's still into stuff. Uh, whereas Anthony's kind of like, I'm too cool. But something I wanna get Sophia, and she likes playing with these, and there's no glue involved, is the Impress Nails. And I found these on clearance through a Halloween deal or Halloween clearance. And I grabbed several different designs. But even full price, they aren't super expensive. You could buy maybe just one or two and throw it in a stocking. Um, this would be really good for even a teen too, I think. Just because it's fun to play with different colors, it's non-committal and it's not gonna create any damage to the nail bed because there's no like horrible glue. It's basically already pre-stuck onto the nails and you just, they're like nail stickers that are a little bit tougher than nail stickers. She usually takes them off the next day, so don't spend a lot of money on them if you're using this for somebody who's younger than like 12. Something else I thought you would think was really cute, and normally I think it's kind of silly like for my phone, but I figured for a kid or a teen, this would be kind of cute, is these little phone charms. They're 3D metal little stickers. And I don't know, the brand here is the iDecor. I found these on clearance at Walmart, but I found them on Amazon and I saw them I think on the Walmart website, so I'll try to link to them down below. And yeah, I just figured I'd throw out that little inspiration and idea there. Something else I wanna get her is this big trunk that I saw at Kohl's because it's like a whole jewelry making set. She's totally into making friendship bracelets and different like pieces to gift away to her friends and I thought she would really like that. This is a little mini set that I saw at Walgreens. There was like a buy one, get one free on their toys. So I also got this Play-Doh thing. She's since, I'm not big on the whole slime thing. I hate slime. I'm done with slime. But Play-Doh, I can live with Play-Doh. Play-Doh I can at least soak with water and get out. Um, so I got her these two little sets. Again, it's nothing crazy. They're not even that expensive, but I think she'll totally get a kick out of them. I think that what, this is $6.99 on it? And it was buy one, get one free. Or I think buy two, get one free. I think this is the last thing for Sophia, but she's on a pineapple kick. She loves pineapples. And I saw this little pineapple jewelry holder. I don't care what she uses it for, but it was so cute. It's from Lauren Conrad at Kohl's. They also had a little ice cream. And I, again, I don't know that she'll actually use it as a jewelry or ring catcher, but it's cute. And I thought she would really appreciate it and find it exciting that she uh, she loves ice cream and she loves pineapples. Something else I'm getting them is Fortnite pajamas because I cannot get away from the Fortnite fad. I found these at Walmart. I think they were like $15 each. This one's like a llama or something like that. They picked them out. I bought them when they were with me and I didn't even see. I am so stealthy. Stealth-like, I'm stealth mode. They're oblivious. The other parents out there might get a kick out of this one. So I did a big back to school haul with them where we purchased like a ridiculous amount of clothes at Kohl's. And I went through their dresser the other day and I noticed that some of them still have tags on them. Why? Why do we have clothes that still have tags on them? So you know what? Since they are oblivious to these existing, I'm going to wrap them up and give them back to them for Christmas. That's what they get. That's more of a goofy inside joke kind of thing because I keep telling them like, hey, I haven't seen you wear that shirt. Where's that shirt? And then they're like, oh yeah, 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 I'll wear it. And then they don't. They wear the same three outfits every week from Blow World because they were like an army print and he's totally into anything military, army. He plays with army men nonstop. Actually, I would love to find a rug where it was like an army or military or some sort of print where it maybe has like a topographic map but it's like flat so we could play on it. I know I've seen the mats or the, the rugs that look like roads. He's not really into that. He's more like, I want it to look like a battlefield kind of thing, but nothing graphic, of course. If you find something like that or even a DIY, please send it to me. I would love to see it. And he of course loves the Phoenix Suns. So I got him a little Phoenix Suns t-shirt. Oh, and something for either a boy or a girl or young or older, whatever it is, they will love this. I know it is silly. It is a stuffed animal. I get it. This is a Squishmallow. It is beyond soft. Like, I want one. 
look at it. It's not even memory foam. I don't know how to explain it. It feels genuinely like a marshmallow. It just bounces right back. It is so nice. I'll show you the little, there's the little tag there so you can see the spelling. I will definitely link to one down below. I know they have them at Justice, which are a little more girly, whereas we picked up this one at Walgreens. Look, there's slime on it. Slime is everywhere. I want one of those. I love them. They're beyond soft. I don't understand the technology or how they do it, but they are incredible. If we were to give that to somebody or someone who was to give that to me even as an adult, I would love it. Okay, so something off the list that I don't have with me right now, but that I am shopping for or shopping around for, and I saw that it's going to be on deal for Black Friday, is the Fitbit Ace 2. This is a kid version of a Fitbit. Sophia's been begging me for a Fitbit or an Apple Watch. There's no way in heck I'm getting her an Apple Watch, but I will get her a Fitbit. It looks like it's going to be $50 on Black Friday deal at Target, Walmart, Kohl's, and Best Buy. At least those are the places that I have them in the cart, kind of keeping an eye, like which one's gonna have the most like percentage back and like coupon deals or whatever. I'm like, I'm basically just stalling. And then there was also a Fitbit band that was teal. And teal is mint, those kind of like greeny blue light colors are her jam right now. It's basically all she wears all day every day, which is why I'm surprised that that t-shirt still had the tag on it because it's her type of colors and I really want to get her that. I think it would be exciting and that's going to be like her big gift. Something else I want to get her is of course Frozen is back again to what three two three years ago it was a big thing. Now with the second movie coming out which we're going to go see it on Saturday I'm excited. I want to get her like a Lego set. I saw that there was an Olaf little set that was about $15 and then there's the other big castles which are like 40 to 60 dollars so unless those are like on sale probably closer to the 30 dollar range i'm probably just gonna stick with the fitbit being her big gift and maybe getting a couple little small legos uh, she loves playing with legos i want to get her the little mat i feel like i bought these for them before but i have no idea where they went maybe they just got lost in the times that we moved but it's like those mats that you can kind of put um, on like a table or on the floor to be able to build up your buildings and play around with. So it makes it a little bit easier. For Anthony, he has been begging me every time we go to Target. I don't know if they're sold anywhere else, but it's just when we go to Target that he's asking me for these. They're called Hexbug Robots. And you can get them individually where you kind of build it yourself. And it's like all a little electronical and stuff like that. And it's tiny, it's like that big. And you can put them in an arena and they battle each other, like battle bots type of motion. Or you can have like one on your own and kind of like putt putt around with it. Um, they're pretty pricey. The cheapest one was like 20 or $30. And then they go up in price from there. Like the battle zone was like somewhere between like 80 and and $100. So that might be his big gift. I don't know. The verdict is still out. Um, he also asked for Call of Duty insert eye roll. I don't know if I'm thrilled about him playing with stuff like that. Of course, the science kits, which I shared earlier, and they love kinetic sand. Everyone, I'm sure that everybody knows that, but it's that sand that you kind of like can play with and it's like Play-Doh-y, but not, and it holds its shape, but then it doesn't. Kinetic sand, it blows my mind. I don't understand it, but it is wildly, like you can't stop touching it. Once you start touching it, you can't stop. I definitely feel like I need a couple other little small things for Anthony. So if you know of any like little army things, like he have a ton of army men. So we don't need more of the little characters, but maybe more like scenery type things. Definitely let me know. Um, I mean, he's a boy's boy. He loves sports. He loves basketball. I bought him the basketball hoop last year. So that was like his big thing then. And... Um, I don't know, I'm kind of at a loss for him. 11 is a weird age because he's not like a little boy and he's not like a big kid yet. So I don't know, my hands are up on that one. But I think that's where I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna split up the for her and for the kids type video. I was gonna do it all in one, but we're gonna separate that and make it a little bit easier for everyone to watch in case you don't have kids, but you wanna watch the that type of video for girl ideas. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me. I hope I was able to help you all and give you some inspiration on what to shop for for the kid in your life. Please leave a comment down below with any suggestions 
or feedback that all of us could kind of come back and forth with each other. It's the whole point of having a community like this. And I will see you in a video very soon.